What's up boys and girls, it's your boy T-Dizzle here. Um, as you've seen by the thumbnail or the title of this video. Um, you know what we're going with. Um, basically, this is it. all pets in general. Are, and for set heroes and whatnot. Um, basically what we're going to focus on is the six hero or the six pets that actually um, that actually do damage to buildings so we're gonna go over here to angers and we are going to start here as you see we're gonna start with Glacy I have to get into this pretty quickly because uh, the heroes are the some of them don't some of the runs are going to be a little bit longer, and we got to get through. We got to get through six, um, six pets. And I'm going to keep a. Uh, I'm going to keep dialoguing. Um, not dialoguing. I'm going to keep writing down the results of uh, of how fast we finish this base. Now, granted, I know, I know, doves, doves actually do damage. I took that into consideration. And um, I, th I just think it's gonna be it's gonna be the same regard as long as we have the same drop spot, it's gonna be Ill irrelevant. Um, basically, what we're concentrating on is how much time is left on the timer, and see which pet we need to focus on. Then this is mainly gonna be for, for free to play guys or people just starting out and going okay well which pet do i need to um put slimes on or waste my you know use my resources on so i'm hoping that this video is going to help those those uh those lower guys uh the new guys to the to the game and um yeah please leave a like share and comment oh and then also subscribe too if you like content I've got another video coming up after this, um, which I think that um, everybody will thoroughly enjoy. At least, a thumb, at least a thumbnail I enjoy. The thumbnail was fun to make. So if nothing else, you can like the next video just for the thumbnail. Okay, we're coming down to the end of it. So obviously Glacy doesn't really help too terribly much. All she does is just kind of stun the towers up. So where are we at? Two minutes and 15, 16, 17. Two minutes and 22 seconds. All right, hang tight. All right, as you can see here, our next uh, pet is going to be Draco. And uh, let's just get right into it. Get that same drop. Chat a little bit more. Do some work, Draco. I wish there was a little bit more. I, I, I want to keep this video short. You know. But I wish there was enough time to where I can kind of go through. We'll see. Because the uh, these should go get a little bit um, faster of uh, building takedowns but Draco doesn't I mean once the heroes are gone and down he doesn't he doesn't attack anything else that's the inconsequential um, drawback to Draco um, but in Guild Wars um, he is beneficial because you're gonna have six fairly tough heroes out there and he's gonna hit the hero and the stuff around him mainly his hero base which let's be honest sometimes those hero bases um, are one of the first things to get um, maxed out so I would say that it, it would be at least fairly relevant to um, put Draco in this consideration And the same with Glacy. I mean, Glacy does uh, attack towers first, and stun and and uh, freezes the towers. So if you've got if you're having issues with a stun tower, um, 
Glacy Glacy could be um, a good choice as long as you get it mag, um, topped out. But I wouldn't recommend necessarily Glacy. As you can see, it took it took Glacy nearly the entire three minutes, and um, looks like we're getting a little bit further progress. But we're probably going to be about the same time with uh, with Draco. Now I put this list in the order of where I thought we were going to end up at. Um, as far as, um, least usable to, uh, most usable. And, uh, yeah, so we're, let's come down. We're coming down to it right now. One minute and... Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two... Three. Yeah, I don't even think we're gonna be able to 100% this base with this um, in this three-minute time. We still got quite a bit. Let's go, Dovies. We're just gonna call this a full three minutes. I mean, honestly. Yeah. All right, hang tight. All right, next up we got Chickaboom, and uh, let's jump right into it as we're already at six minutes, and I do apologize. Um, but like I said, it's going to get uh, faster as uh, as we go. Get that same drop spot. Now Chickaboom should do do a little bit better of a job, as you can see. She's she's also she also hits units too, but. She hits units and she's going to hit uh, buildings as well. Just any target available. So, she's definitely useful. Especially if you're trying to clear up a base for, um, for like a dread drake cleanup, whatnot. Um, and you're not using Anubis or um, Espirita. So, it's an option. Definitely an option. And, uh, yeah, once these troops get cleared, you'll be able to see Chickaboom do a little bit more help with uh, cleaning up the base. But clearly, Chickaboom is targeting um, units first. Come on, Chickaboom, do some work. So I actually suggested this video idea to Angry um, a ways back, and uh, yeah, see now now Chicka Boom's hitting a, a couple a couple of her rockets um, hit just random buildings, not doing an extremely amount of extreme amount of damage, but still damage that um, that's going to be less for for Dub to have to come around and do. But yeah, no, I suggested this video for Angry to do, and um, he kind of drug his feet. So, I mean, that's on him. I felt the video needed to get put out. There's a lot, a lot of newcomers to this game that I think that would benefit from um, learning, learning about the pets, you know, and have questions about the pets. So hopefully the hopefully this uh, video reaches the um, reaches the right right audience. And if you're a person that knows somebody that um, is new to the game or um, is uh, you know just is just curious about pets in general, what's going to help be beneficial in Guild War, then um, please let them. Uh, Please recommend this video for them. And that was two minutes and like 40 seconds, we'll say. That and Glacy, the Glacy was actually a little, little bit faster. I was surprised about that. I thought Chickaboom would help a little bit more. Hang tight. All right, as you can see, um, we're up to Phoenix now. Let's get into it real quick, and then I can, um, can tell you what uh, I want to say. All right, now Phoenix is going to be the first one of the of the uh, top 
three um, that actually does adequate damage to buildings. Um, you know, shoots a shoots a fireball and sets an area on fire. And as you can see already, you can see the fireballs. And um, and very 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 beneficial. Now I like to use my phoenix on my tree because my tree revive has revived ten on or revived nine revived ten maybe on it. Um, so my tree revives three times in Guild Wars cleanup, and um, that means three phoenix procs. So it just helps with cleanup. Now I highly recommend phoenix. He's definitely a strong contender for number three, and we've got two more after this. I do apologize for the length of the video. Like I said in the very beginning. I'm going to show these uh, attacks in, in, um, in real time. And there we go. One minute. And one minute, five seconds. All right, hang tight. All right. Uh, next up, we got New Balloon. And we all know, not we all know, but um, the majority of us know how good Doom Balloon is. And um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to put uh, Doom Balloon out here to the test against... Um, Hair Force One, and uh, so to me, Hair Force One and Doom Balloon are pretty much right there, one and two. And uh, I don't know. Let's see which ones, which ones is going to be the upper echelon pet. Who can get that number one spot? So I will go over the numbers real quick. Um, Phoenix is number uh, is currently in the number four or number three spot, 105. Hang on, this stupid. I hate YouTube. All right, I need to get YouTube bread. I probably will do that after this because that's just a pain in the butt. All right, where you at, Doom Balloon? Oh, come on, Doom Balloon. Don't let me down. Phoenix is doing better than you. 95. Oh. Oh. Hang tight. All right. So that was a. Uh, that was. That was pretty darn close. Uh, nose to nose with uh, Phoenix. Beat him out by two seconds. So, all right, now we're on to our last last one for the video. And uh, here we go. Hair Force 1. Hair Force 1 is similar to Phoenix. But I think he... I'm not sure. I'll have, to, I'll have to look at it again and see if he targets heroes first or just an area. I'm not certain. I mean, it doesn't matter for this fight, but it just in general. And we'll end the video with that. Just, just real quick, just to refresh my memory. And then, yeah. Like I said, please like, share, comment, and subscribe on this video. And um, please sh definitely share it um, to those of, uh, if you know any players that are new to the game. And, uh would like some pet help now this is strictly just for these six six pets and how how well they can assist maybe six so where are we at 158 five ah it's because the building was over there so all right so that was a minute ten all right let's get in here real quick Hair Force One from the enemy here as well. So also some. Oh wait, no. What am I looking at? Hair Force One drops a painted egg on a random enemy unit dealing. So I'm assuming it attacks pets first, or not pets, but heroes first. So surprisingly, we have uh, Doom Balloon in the lead, and. Um, I will give it to Phoenix because I wasn't thinking that Phoenix was going to be um, as powerful as he did. Um, we will say that Hair Force One and Doom Balloon, I would say those 
or your top three pets that you want to um, focus on. Um, Draco being absolutely the least uh, one to worry about. Um, Glacy would be number four, and Chicka Boom as um, um, your your fifth um, priority. So I appreciate you all for watching the video. I'll catch you all on the next one. It's your boy T Dizzle. Sorry for the length. Catch you all next one. Bye. Woo!